Hello everyone, what is going on? I'm your host Eamon Hassan and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. If there's one thing we can all agree on is that prisons are a place that no one wants to end up at ever. Period. Exclamation point, underlined, highlighted, bold, font size 500. But I'm sure there have been many times where you've been sat at home bored watching TV and a random prison documentary comes on and you're like, oh. This is what it's like. No, no, my friend, you have no idea what it's like or where these prisons even are, but you're about to find out. It's almost insulting to you guys to say this now because I know you already know, but remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of these sorts of videos and more of my face, do check out Top 10 Hindi videos as well. But without further ado, this is the Top 10 Scary Hidden Prisons. Coming in at number 10 is Sabenta Prison in Maracaibo, Venezuela. Said to be one of the most violent prisons in the world, Sabenta was named the gateway to the fifth circle of hell by former Venezuelan president Hugo Chavez. The prison was originally built to house 700 inmates, but it currently has more than 3,700. The prison's guard ratio is 150 to 1, so maintaining any sort of order is pretty much a distant dream. Armed inmates control the prison in a sort of gang controlled hierarchy. The poorer ones have to pay the more powerful ones for a place to sleep or even water to drink. That water, by the way, comes from corroded bathroom pipes. In 1994, 108 inmates were killed in a prison riot. War between gangs even led to dismemberment and beheadings. This may seem surprising, but Venezuela is ranked second in the world for homicide rates, so after hearing that, you can kind of imagine the sort of people that are probably in this prison. At number 9 is Cat's Eye in Thailand. As nice as the name is, the place itself is far from it. Cat's Eye was a secret CIA prison set up in 2002 to hold Abu Zubaydah, who's suspected to be one of bin Laden's right hand men. He was the only inmate of the prison for six months, and he lived inside a coffin sized box and was constantly waterboarded nearly every day until he fainted. The second prisoner arrived in November 2002, and both were used to test out enhanced interrogation techniques, whatever the hell that means. They were also subject to walling, which is basically a punishment where they were slammed against a wall. A month later, the prison was apparently shut down and moved to Poland, but no one can actually confirm this. I mean, till this day, no one even knows the location of Cat's Eye. That's how secret it is. Coming in number 8 is the Salt Pit in Afghanistan. This prison is a secret prison run by the CIA not so secret, I guess. And it was meant to hold inmates suspected of having links with terrorists. The salt pit used to be a brick factory, so its cells are extremely small and obviously have no toilets or windows. Most inmates just have one bucket in their room and have to sleep on the cold floor absolutely naked. All of them are subjected to inhumane treatment and punishments like frequent mock executions. Like how do you pretend to kill someone just to scare someone else? I mean, that is disgusting. The guards also play really loud music throughout the day as psychological torture. Only one death has been verified by the prison and the inmate was chained above his head, stripped, beaten and drenched and then he died of hypothermia the next day. His family was never informed. At number 7 now we have black jails in China. These are secret prisons illegally run by individual Chinese provinces and local governments. If someone has a grievance of any kind they have to report it to their provincial or local government and if they don't get the justice they want they're allowed to send that same report to the central government in Beijing. Now the number of reports coming in from each province decides how effective that government is. So to avoid being deemed ineffective, these local governments seek out the same people who send reports to the central government. They employ more than 10,000 people to kidnap, torture and detain these people and the prisons they're put in are usually vacant homes, guest houses or psychiatric wards. By 2009 it was confirmed that there are around 73 black jails inside Beijing alone, and the central government knows about it and is doing nothing about it. Great. Coming at number 6 is the USS Ashland. This is the name of one of the 17 US warships that the CIA has secretly been using as prisons. There's a total of 26,000 people held on these ships. Most ships carry at least 500 marines to take care of the ship and guard the prisoners. The ships are common for people who have been abducted and detained in foreign countries like Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, etc. Not much is actually known about what goes on in these floating prisons, but it's said 
out that even when the ships are docked, prisoners are never allowed to get off and likely rarely ever leave their holding cells. I get really seasick so I can't even imagine if a prisoner who also got seasick ended up being one of these prisoners on these floating prisons. I'd probably want to kill myself. At number 5 is Camp Lemonye in Djibouti. Camp Lemonye is located right next to Djibouti's Ambuli International Airport and is meant to be a US naval expeditionary base. But it's never just a naval base is it? It's also used by the CIA as a black site where dozens and dozens of people are secretly kidnapped, then tortured and then interrogated. Since it's located right in between terrorist hot zones like Somalia and Yemen, inmates flood into the camp on a weekly basis and a lot of them never make it out, or if they do, they never speak about what was done to them in the camp. Whether that's because they were paid off or threatened, who knows? You guys decide. Coming at number 4 is Camp 7 of Guantanamo Bay. Yes, I know that isn't a secret by any stretch of the imagination, but no one actually knows where Camp 7 is. It was built away from the main prison and was used for 15 inmates who the CIA dubbed as high value detainees. One being the person behind 9 11 apparently. If inmates already get tortured at the other camps, multiply that by a fairly large number, and that's the sort of level and frequency of torture you get at Camp 7. During his hearing one inmate even claimed his cell used to make strange noises and vibrate and it turned out to be true since the building itself was falling apart and they're still keeping inmates in there. Talk about bad conditions. At number 3 now is the Tamara Interrogation Center in Morocco. I know it doesn't have prison in the title but it is one. The center is located in a forest and is operated by a Moroccan government unit that goes by the acronym DST. Now DST has violated so many human rights at the Tamara Interrogation Center I can't even begin the list. The interrogators beat their inmates, burn them, electrocute them, waterboard them, you name it, they do it to them. And the reason behind all this, you ask? To extract confessions or information or make the inmates sign statements they have zero knowledge of. The US has confirmed that the CIA funds the center, whereas Morocco denies the center even exists. Something doesn't add up. What do you guys think? Coming at number 2 are a series of unnamed Yemeni prisons. According to the Human Rights Watch, a very trustworthy source, mind you, says they've been informed by various people that there is a huge network of secret Yemeni prisons in eastern Yemen. The anonymous people that have come forward to talk about what goes on in there have said people suffer from sexual harassment and threats, electrical shocks, sleep and sensory deprivation, beatings with metal tools, and being stripped and whipped. Yemeni family members of those who have quote unquote disappeared for months at a time never get a word about whether that person is alive, where they are, what they're doing, absolutely nothing. Last but not least, coming in with a bang at number 1 is a secret Iraqi government prison that is yet to be named. This prison is so horrific it's been labelled worse than the Abu Ghraib prison. The prison is located in an airfield west of Baghdad and prisoners were taken there after being arrested for acting against the state. Freed captors have said they were suffocated, electrocuted and raped while being inside the prison. One man went to Iraq to find his missing son and they arrested him, beat him, sodomized him, attached electrical charges to his private parts and then forced him to sign a confession which he didn't even get to read. Another inmate said he was raped on a daily basis and was beaten so badly he had serious leg injuries and lost his front teeth. The things I read and found out while reading about this one you guys, you could not even imagine. Those two examples were horrific enough and I only included two out of the many that I read. Some things you literally can't unsee. Or in this case, unread. And that is it for today's video guys, I hope it didn't horrify you too much but as my economics professor once said about life, it is what it is. Quite bleak I know but I feel like that's how prisons make most people feel and I'm talking about the people on the outside not even on the inside. I know I didn't joke about much in this video but I feel like it just wasn't the right time. Let me know which ones you guys knew about before, if any, in the comments below and I'll make sure to check them out. But that's it from me guys, I'm your host Eamon Hassan and I will see you on the next one. Bye!